This film will take you through the step-by-step -step procedures of a full energy audit. This training is based upon the BPI technical standards for a certified building analyst. Cliff is head of the technical standards committee for Clean Edison. Cliff is going to help me show you how to do a, an energy audit on this house. We're now going to look at the outside of the building. The seam underneath here is open. Up here we have a downspout. This is also another flashing issue. The downspout being this high is manufactured in 1996. It is a two-ton unit. We use the calculations of the volume for energy calculations. I'm going to turn on my carbon monoxide detector outside. We're now in a crawl space and we come into everyone's favorite place, the attic. Now I'm going to go through the house, open up all the interior doors, close all the exterior doors, all the windows are closed, conduct a combustion safety test. You're testing for ambient carbon monoxide, combustion safety testing. Step one, this hose. Step two is establish the worst case. What we're taking is a snapshot under today's conditions. Undiluted carbon monoxide. And here we're getting a reading. There's a little bit of math here. We're getting good draft. Well, that's a nice clean burner. That's a zero. It just has to fit the door cover. You lay down your door. Lock. Now, all right, I'm going to conduct an infrared scan of the house with the blower door on. Another method for identifying and locating leaks, and that makes these leaks more pronounced than even. We're trying to find these leaks, locate them so that we can seal them up. Fireplaces, recessed lights, plumbing penetrations, windows and doors, floor meeting a baseboard. The typical offender is that attic hatch. Any penetration through the uh, ceiling air barrier. I'm going to show you the basic operation of a duct blower system. Based upon the readings taken from the blower door, that means that by sealing up the house more, they will be able to improve by about 30%. That's a substantial savings and certainly worth doing. So this is just an indication of one of the things the auditor will do to help locate and identify leakages to address in an air sealing work scope. 